Okay, so when you get your product home and you're ready to start using it, you have to install your tap handles. So to do so, you're going to make sure that this lever is as tight as possible so you don't have any drippage from your spigot. So you're going to unscrew the top portion and this bottom lever needs to be as tight as possible. This is what controls the drip out of your spigot. Then you're going to roll this down to it and you're going to open it up since you don't have any product on it. You're going to take your antler handle and you're going to turn it onto the spigot as far down as you can onto the tap handle. Once you get it where you want it, you position it and you're going to roll this lever up to it and tighten it and that allows this handle to stay in that position so that you can pull on it properly. Now when you get an antler fork, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to tighten the bottom lever as tight as possible so that it's a definite on off of the handle. You're going to roll this down and open it up and then you're going to screw your antler handle onto the spigot. This all needs to be done before you install your bottle on top of the tower. It's not going to turn the right way, so you turn it in the direction you would like it, and then you roll this up to it and tighten it. Now you have to pay attention to the antlers. Sometimes they turn and they come too close to your bottle, and a lot of times it will not allow the bottle to totally shut off. So in that particular instance, you would turn it this way so the arch is forward and that you would tighten the antler. So it'll stay in that direction and it's always a definite on off of the product.